All right, and we are back for our second game of the day. It is the mar marquee matchup between the Heschel boys team and Hapoel Tom Elat. All right, Josh, what are you expecting from this game? An insane amount of high-flying layups, and occasionally, if they're feeling up to it, a dunk. Oh, really cool. I'd be really excited to see that. I think we'll definitely see a lot more three-point shooting in this game than we did last game, seeing as how they're huge. Yeah. I did not know these people grew that this tall in high school. All right, and we're off. And the tip off goes to Tel uh, Aviv. Wow, they can jump high. It's like watching a forest play basketball. Passes out to the three-point line and can't make the shot. Rebound by Heschel, who just previously dominated in their girls' game. Jared and Michelle, you guys gotta move. Jared. Jared. Jared and Michelle. Has a jump shot and can't bring it down. But Heschel with the rebound and can't bring in the layup. We saw a lot of missed layups last game. Hopefully we won't baseball. see that again. Oh, and a foul on the ball. Travel. A travel? Travel called Heschel ball. Travel on a lot and the Heschel Heat will get their first team. Heschel, bring it up. Now, we haven't seen this team play, but if it's anything like their girls' team, they're going to hang around the outside three-point line and attempt to drive when they see an open lane. Long A shot. Deep three. That man just made a heat check when he wasn't even warm. Heschel Ball, what do you think we're going to see on this play, Josh? Well, there's one thing I can say. Their coach is definitely more aggressive, and he's going to try to pound the rock straight into the paint instead of trying to slow the game down like the past coach did. Now, this Heschel team is not to be taken lightly, as they are definitely the underdogs going into this game, but they were 8-3 and three in their regular season. Yeah, they, play, they played a great season this year. A lot of moving the rock, and because they're so big, they can really dominate down low. And the first basket of the game goes to a lot. And Heschel attempts to answer right back, but bangs a shot right off the rim. Speaking to a lot driving, and that looked like a traveling foul, but they'll count it for two. Sometimes the Hesha boys, they're, they're very fast, a lot faster than the people in the last game, and very athletic. They can jump higher than, I don't know, the Empire State. A lot with a deep three and bangs it off the rim. They attempt to corral their own rebound and goes out of bounds. Hesha ball. Time out, Hesha. The Elat team is very fired up. They really want to win this game. Unlike the Heschel Heat, who are down to more of a Heschel Simmer. You're doing amazing, sweetie. Full timeout as opposed to a half time. Josh, you think we're going to see as many turnovers as in the last game? I mean, already you can see their turnover differential is way smaller, and I don't think we've had, I think we had one in this game so far. And at this point in the last game, we had over five. Yeah. Hoping to see a very clean game. Uh, it's definitely going to be a lot smoother, but that also means there's going to be a lot more time for shenanigans to happen, considering they're moving at a much faster pace and leaving a lot more time on the clock. And a turnover. A lot gets the ball. Offensive foul on, uh, on Heschel. What did they call? Oh, it was a moving screen. Oh, damn. 
Now, we saw a moving screen in the other game. It was not called, but it was most certainly moving and also a screen. Oh, the almost carry sinks. by a lot. Almost sinks the N1 bucket. I mean, it wouldn't be N1, but, you know, almost made the shot. Now, the play call here is Ocean. Motion. Motion. Being yelled by the Heschel bench, which apparently means foul. Yeah. He really wants his team to move the ball. He really wants to get some good ball movement so they can get some open shots and some movement down low. Although they are fouling a bit too much, one might say they got cut up in the heat of the moment. Oh, and driving cannot be stopped. Heschel's coming down. Heschel has not scored a basket despite the impressive offensive showing they've been having. As there's a ball going out of bounds. I feel like we said that way too much last game, but more of it. All right, here comes a lot down the floor. Got a drive. Oh, and a turnover. Said that a lot last game, too. Oh! And slabs the basket. And hit the basket. That probably should have been goaltending. He slapped the basket before the ball the even three. got there. Comes the Heschel boys. Long three. And it hits the rim, and a lot gets the ball. The Heschel coach is and very mad that there was passing no goal it out. Time. Step back three and air balls completely. The Heschel coach is not happy. Wow, the coach is really not happy. He's yelling at the ref right now. He better be careful ball. because the Bialik coach in the last game did the exact same thing and got teed up and cost his team two points. Here comes the Heschel players. Let's see if they can get on the board. So whether it was a foul or not by a lot, it was still a very impressive thing for him to do. And they can't hit the mid-range, and a lot gets another rebound. Let's talk about these a lot uniforms. I gotta say, pretty nice. Yeah, they're pretty snazzy. They remind me of Lakers uniforms. They're the same colors. They're sort of the Lakers uniforms if you kind of like left them out in the rain. They're more. They're more of a muted color. Yeah. Alright, Heschel coach really wants his players to move. As there's another foul on the play. Foul on uh, Inbar Avital. There's a sub. Sub for Heschel as they attempt to... David Nass is in the game. Yeah. Heschel is trying to sub to sort of stem that bleeding a little bit. As oh, they have not been able to get anything going, as a lot gets a block like no other we've seen in the past two games. Oh, Great it just goes over his head and goes out of bounds. That is Heschel ball. All right, Heschel bringing it down. Let's see if they can score their first points of the game. Passes it into the paint. Brings it outside. I think that was a problem. Kicks it out. Three-pointer. And air oh. balls the three-point attempt. Already we have seen quad quadruple the amount of three-point attempts in this game than we did last game. Wow, what a layup from a lot. They're really showing their dominance so far this game. Heschel Coach is still trying to get his players to move the ball. Good ball movement usually leads to open looks. They definitely seem to be finding each other, but a lot seems to find them a half a second before they even can. Wow, great defense. A, the a lot team seems to know where the ball is going before the passer does. That is a travel on a lot. It is a special ball. Next play is called Texas. We'll see what that is. Now, we're not trying to spill all of Heschel's secrets, but he is very loud. Now, Texas seems to be a rotating wheel of players attempting to get open in the paint underneath the basket. As they pass it into the post, and he cannot post up without the ball getting stripped. 
They say Lot team is very good. They're really keeping their... Wow! An amazing pull-up jumper from three. Playing some great defense, but great offense. She beats great defense. False. And Heschel gets the rebound. Let's see if they can use this. To they can stem some momentum from this. Oh! An insane block Oh, but from it's a, a foul on a lot. Despite the foul, despite the foul, that might have been the most amazing block we've seen in the past three games. Wow. All right, we got two shots coming for Heschel here. Make them both. It'll be a three-point game with a minute 30 to go in the first quarter. He makes, makes the first. The Can't get the second one to fall, and a lot gets the rebound. <laughs> like taking candy from a baby. Oh, and gets past the defense, fakes him out, and gets the amazing play. layup. Wow. The clock wasn't running, so they're slowing it down. Wow, that's a break for the a lot team as Heschel had a fast break. Now, a lot, seemingly as a tactic, are calling all of their plays in Hebrew. Now, this may just be because they're from Israel, or it may be because they're trying to confuse Heschel with their play calling and not let them catch on to what they're doing. Yeah. If you're the only team that speaks, speaks a different language, you can just say everything out loud and no one will understand what you're doing. You can run a lot more intricate plays and detail exactly what you're going to do, and there's nothing the other team can do to stop you. I mean, apart from learning Hebrew. Yeah. Uh, seems like a foul on Heschel. A well, lot's going to get the ball back. With 50 seconds to go on the clock. As we wind down the first quarter, it seems like a lot is definitely the more physically dominant team. Uh, I mean, some great defense from the Heschel from the Heschel Heat, but they just can't secure the rebound. A lot seems to be driving to the rim at will as they play some intense full court defense on the Heschel team. Oh, and a steal from a lot and gets it right back to Heschel. Heschel with the dish pointer. and can't get a shot to fall. A lot with the rebound with 22 seconds left passes it down the court to number 24. Tal Ophir. They have the ball as it's stripped by Heschel and there's a foul on the play. Shot clock's off as there's 13 seconds to go in the quarter. All right, well, it's coming down. Oh, and a seal by Heschel. Heschel comes down the court, seven seconds to go. Oh, four three. Wide open three and can't get it. And that That's is the, the end quarter. of the first quarter. It is 10 to 4 for a lot. No, 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 no. Don't, 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 don't. It's the half. And we're back. 
All right, Josh, what do you want to see from Heschel in the second quarter? Heschel needs to really move their tone back, I think. I, I think the coach is kind of riding them a bit too hard and making them go too fast. They don't have enough time to get their feet set on their shots. I think they need to slow it down and find the open man. Well, it seems like what they're doing. It seems they're slowing it down a little bit. Unfortunately, they seem to have slowed it down a bit too much, and a lot is playing some intense defense. A uh, lot seems to be trying to trap them in every every way possible. They just their plan seems to just be to play zone defense and double team whenever they can. Yeah, a lot's defense is certainly they've stifled the Heschel offense as they've only hit one shot and one free throw so far. An amazing jump cut. Three-pointer for a lot. And a three from a lot. Can't get it to fall. Oh, and Heschel tried going for the fast break, but the ball was tipped by an a lot player. Uh, can't get the end one bucket, and he'll go to the line. Two shots coming up for Heschel. Could make it a 10 to 6 game. Last time we had free throws to make it a 10 to 6 game, the team that made it a 10 to 6 game ended up losing quite bad. And Heschel sinks the first one, which should bring their total to five. Right. Here comes the second free throw. He's gonna make this, no doubt, no doubt. From Charlie Sutton. Oh, and he man. sinks it, it is 10 to six. Here comes A-Lot. A-Lot with a solid pass down the baseline. They seem to be slowing down their tempo as well, but not nearly as much as Heschel, as there's a travel call. Heschel ball, seven minutes to go in the quarter. We've seen a lot of traveling in this game. Not as much as the last game though, which was quite ridiculous. All right, I think Heschel can turn it around here and maybe take the lead on not this possession, but the next. I think it's very possible that Heschel can come back, come storming back. They may be able to build a substantial lead if they're able to sort of ignore the screaming of their coach and play how they know they can play. All right, Elon's got the ball. Bringing it down the court. Benjamin Zulin has the ball. That's a three-pointer. A beautiful oh. three just barely bounces out. Loose ball foul? Seems to be a loose ball foul on the Heschel Heat. Now there have been eight fouls in the game at this point. Do you think we're going to see a repeat showing of the last one? I don't think so. The, the, the amount of fouls in the last game was crazy. I don't think we're going to see as many. You've seen some great ball movement from uh, from from a lot. The kind of ball movement that we were lacking in the last game. A beautiful shot from a lot just barely bounces out and leads to a rebound by Heschel, which leads to a beautiful finish wow. on the other side with the coast to coast layup. And it's a two-point game. We'll see if Heschel can use that momentum. A Lutt comes storming in. Almost dunked over three defenders, but can't get the ball in. Here comes Heschel. Some great Heschel ball movement. Great ball movement. And there's a jump ball. Jump ball. And it is a Lutt ball. That was really unfortunate for Heschel, as they seem to have momentum on their side. I think that's really, that's really a killer. Here comes a lot. See if they can stop the momentum and get a buck. Get a I buck think in. a lot just got the momentum. I don't think they need to stop it anymore. I think that that jump ball really shifted it in their favor. I guess we'll see on this ensuing possession as they have some wide open men on the outside, but don't seem to find them. Great stop by Heschel. Heschel stopping them with that great defense and getting a rebound. Special coach thinks it's a foul. I did not. Special coach thinks it's a foul. That, on the other hand, is a foul. And we're going to get two shots for Heschel. Followed by. Doesn't 
that mean that a lot should have five fouls? Right. They, they make them both. That'll make it a tie game. Wow. Really didn't see that coming in the first quarter. A tie game? You mean like how the Patriots Chiefs game and also the Rams Saints game both went to overtime yesterday in the wake of the Drake curse? Yes. All right, he misses the first free throw. Here comes number two from Charlie Sutton. He misses that one too, but gets the ball back. All right, now Heschel going out to the outside. Can't, and a perfect release, but he can't get the ball down. Here comes the Elot team. A lot, hoping to hold on to their lead and maybe build on it, gets the layup as he seemed to float through the defense there. He certainly floated like a butterfly, yes, he stung did. like a wasp. Out of bounds, heat ball. Sub on the play for Heschel. Ricky Sutton is into the game. Heschel ball. As Heschel will attempt to score some points here and get them back in the game. Here comes Heschel down the floor. As the Chat Girls basketball team's team files into the gym to prepare for their next game against Heschel. That was a good look. Just good can't look, make a tough shot. Looked like it was in all the way, but I think he. It's a mind game at this point, and I think that they are terrified of this A lot team. Three pointer also just can't go. Here comes Heschel down the floor. Heschel with a beautiful look, and it and gets a blocked. great block by A lot. Jake Borer is into the game. He is in for Daniel Nass. We're also in a lot, so I think number five. Out of bounds, and it's a lot ball. Out of bounds, a lot ball. We got 3.59 to go in the game, and it's a four point a lot lead. A loose ball foul on the play. Foul on Heschel. Making it a Lutz ball. They've got possession, they've got the lead, and they've got the better uniforms. Let's see what they can do. Oh, and the easy second chance points. A rebound and bucket. Put that on the stat sheet. Three-pointer from Heschel is no good. A luck gets the ball, passes it up. We got a fast break. Oh man! And what, turn, what? What was a beautiful hook shot? Oh, uh, it's a foul on a lot. And the floater goes in after the buck, after the whistle. The foul on Reef Zahavi will give Heschel the ball. As Heschel subs in. Heschel's got two shots here to try to make it a four-point game. The Heschel coach there with some profanity that we're going to pretend he didn't say. And continuing on with the broadcast. A lot is bringing the ball up. 
The Heschel coach, very angry about those missed free throws. There are now 12 fouls in the game, and five minutes ago, there were 10. It seems like they've certainly cut back on the fouls that they've been committing. Wow, a crazy blocked shot. Heschel's really trying to gain momentum by Jesse Abed on the play. A lot of yelling coming from both benches after that play. Seems to be a little bit of confusion on where the inbound is supposed to be. But I think we are good. Alright, here comes the inbound. A beautiful pass with a lot. Oh, an almost insane shot going in. Air ball, we got a shot clock violation. Sub into the game for a lot. We got Aviv Elimelech into the game for Reef Zahavi. Reef Zahavi with two fouls in the last three minutes. That might have contributed, contributed to him being pulled from the game. Wow. A a beautiful shot Heschel by Heschel. From Ricky Sutton. Maybe that'll give him the momentum to come back and even take the lead All in this the way corner. from Brampton. Another three. Can't get it to fall. Number three can't get his three. A moving mid-range, and the Heschel coach is losing his mind off an untouched mid-range shot. He's claiming it's a foul. A beautiful bench shot. Alright, here comes Heschel. They're trying to move the ball around as their coach is asking. Now, we, we, apolo we apologize for bringing the coach up so much. He's just very vocal and as always in our peripheral vision. Alright, Heschel's at the line. They got two shots trying to make this a three point game. One and one. If he makes the first, they get the second. And he misses the first. A lot grabs the rebound. A lot's coming down. He's trying to move around the ball. Some great ball movement from a lot and some strength down low, but he misses the follow away jumper. Oh, and a steal. From Heschel, Heschel's coming down the court. Oh, I know. Uncalled foul on the play. As the ball goes out of bounds, and it's a lot's ball. All right, Elot's got the ball coming to bring it down. There's one minute and ten seconds left in the half. Do you think they're going to attempt to build on their lead here or sort of keep it tame and try to keep the ball out of Heschel's hands? Knowing them, they're always going to attempt to build on their lead. But here comes Heschel down the court. Heschel bulldozing their way, passes out to the beautiful three. Three pointer. That ball had no spin on it and it sank into the net. From Ricky Sutton, it is now a two point game. Here comes Elot with the fall away. Elot with the hardened step back but can't get it to fall as there's a battle for the rebound and it goes out of bounds, Heschel ball. All right, here comes Heschel. Let's see if they can, if they can tie up or take the lead. Would that be Heschel's first lead of the game? Um, that would be Heschel's first lead of the game as it was 7-0 for a left. Maybe then their coach will stop losing his mind. Ball on the play. No, no, the bucket does not count. Okay, it looks like we have one and one for Heschel. Make, if they make them both, they will tie it up. But if they miss the first, they say let's ball. That has some very dangerous connotations. Because if they miss it, they could, they could give a lot another chance to score before the end of this half. 
Looks and he like misses the, the first one, and they get the rebound. Some great hustle by both teams here. That's an over and back foul. Over and back. A lot ball. Not a foul. It pops up in the bottom right. Alright, here comes a lot. We got 15 seconds on the clock. Now, if I know anything about coaching basketball, and I don't, they should be doing a way better job here of holding on to the ball and kind of minimize turnovers so they can get the most amount of points out of the half. And as I say that, they turn the ball over. 1.8 seconds on the clock. Hesha ball. Let's see if they can get any. All they need is point three. He gets the shot off. Oh, oh, just barely can't get it to fall. It is 16 to 14 for a lot at the half. And we'll see you then.
and we are back with seven minutes and 55 seconds left in the third quarter. All right, what does Heschel have to do here to get back into the game? I think that they, they, they seriously need to do exactly that. And yeah. Wow, and they're up by one. Oh, There's, some zoning. There's some chance going on for a defense as our number one security guard, Josh, is finally in to watch a game. Uh, here comes Heschel. See if they can build on their lead. Dishes it to the man. And boom, goes the dynamite. Thinks it. Wow, they're up by four. Who saw this coming? A lot with the ball now. He's driving. He's dishing. He's fouled. He's going to the line. Oh. He's not going to the line. That was a foul on the floor. He's going to the baseline. You misheard me. A lot now with the inbound. Uh, oh, and a beautiful pass ruined by an air ball layup attempt. And a no look pass here for Heschel as they get it down into the paint. Can't bank it in off the glass. Gets his own rebound and then immediately turns it over. Here comes a lot. They got a score to cut into oh. that lead. A lot goes off the side of the backboard. That's just a oh, that's show. a foul. There's a foul on the play. And a lot is going to the line. And he makes the first one easily. Now they have been game. almost perfect from the charity stripe. Jesse needs to box out. And right, makes the second one. It's a two point game with six and a half minutes to go. They like the lead to two. They're playing some intense full court defense and leaves their center standing in the paint and Heschel can't get the shot to fall. An amazing rebound and in one bucket. And one makes it 22 to 18 with a free throw to come. Heschel looking for a sub and finally granted it. Subbing in David Nass for Omri Benucci. Benucci. Right. Who's been Heschel's best player so far? Definitely their best player has been Ricky Sutton, number one over there, who's been sinking threes like his life depends on. And seeing how the Heschel coach has been reacting, it very well might be. Three-pointer doesn't go for a lot. And Heschel's got the ball coming down the court. Heschel driving. Gets a beautiful mid-range and air balls it completely as there's a timeout called by a lot. Wow. Heschel has started this quarter on a 10-2 run. Now, it's like I said in the previous game, it's all about momentum in games like these. You get the momentum on your side, you can go up by 15. It does not matter. Momentum is definitely swaying this game. Yeah. All right, speaking of momentum, what does lot have to do to stop it? Well, they, they, they need to stop playing full court defense, I think. I, I know that he thinks that full court defense will help him stop the bleeding, but I think it's actually adding to it because if they get past that, there's almost no one to defend the people who are standing there in the paint waiting for the pass. No, I agree. I feel like they need to think more about the half court, and if they can slow down a lot, uh, or if they can slow down Hatchell in the half court, it might be easier to get stops and then run out for baskets. Timeout is now over, and it should be Heschel's ball. It is a lot better. Right. Okay, it is now a lot's ball, and the shot clock needs to be reset. And it is. All right, here comes a lot. 
there is a zero point differential between the shot clock and the guest score. A drive with a beautiful pass, fakes out the defense, and can't the do turnover. anything. Turnover. Turns it over. Wow, here comes Heschel. They're still playing that full court defense. Natano Shapiro had a beautiful pass out to the outside, but he just decided to not take the shot. Dishes it out to Ricky Sutton. Wow. And beautiful offensive awareness of when they needed to get that shot off. All right, it's an eight-point game. Here comes a lot to try to stop the run. A lot still has not made a field goal this quarter. There are only two points coming off free throws. Heschel, they're trying to build on their lead. That's a foul on a line. And that ball sailed on him more than the Mayflower did from Spain. They got 14 on the shot clock. Blood game, you know how it is. Now Ricky Sutton seems to have ice running through his veins. Takes a cold-blooded shot, but can't get it to fall. Heschel gets the offensive rebound, and they put it up again. Oh, and, and they the make the three. three and one. That's a flop warning. On Heschel. Wow. A warning for a full. I don't think I have ever seen that before. Have you? Uh, I saw one called on DeMarcus. No, on Chris Paul when he was pestering DeMarcus Cousins in a game last year. Coincidentally, when he was pestering DeMarcus Cousins in that exact same game is what led to him tearing his ACL. Uh, Wow, it's an offensive foul on a lot. The coach can't believe it, he thinks it's a flop. And considering the flop warning we just got, he might be right. Some beautiful passes here from Heschel. Yeah, They're driving, more ball passing movement. it out. I think they should just feed Ricky Sutton, honestly. He seems to have not have been any sort of nervousness popping the shot off on what he thinks he can make. Some pushing and shoving there between number three on Heschel and number 24 on Eli. We'll see if that escalates into something else. All of a sudden, it's an 11-point lead for Heschel. They started the quarter out 15 to two. But a lot's only two points coming on free throws. Where was this in the first half? I think it's definitely the halftime adjustment. I think yeah. that the coach for Heschel realized what they were doing wrong and really instilled it into his players that they needed to change something. Jump ball is going to a lot. There's a jump ball, but Noah Lindenbaum for Heschel shaken up on the play. Right. Jake Borer back into the game. He is in for Noah Lindenbaum. Um, yeah, the guy who was shaking up the ball. All right, let's cut the ball at the top. That is a travel. It's a delay of game warning, last warning. That wasn't a delay of game warning, that was another flop warning. He was yelling about a flop warning. All right, there's 324 to go in the quarter. Here comes Heschel. 
Here's Heschel driving. Cannot be denied, and there's a foul on the play. He will go to the line for two shots. Try to make it a 13-point game. He misses the first, so 11-point game with 308. As it clings off the rim. Now he's going to make this next one, and a lot's going to get a sense of urgency as they realize how much they are actually down by. Now it's a 12-point Heschel lead. A lot finally makes their first field goal of the quarter. A lot answers back. It's exactly as I predicted. What a no-look pass from Heschel, but they just can't make the open able to finish. And a lot sinks the three-pointer. That is a 5-0 run from a lot. Timeout, Heschel. I think that was. All right, we're back. That was a long timeout to discuss what went wrong and how Heschel can stop this amazing run by a lot. How many more points do you think a lot can score in this quarter? Do you think they can bring it all the way back? Um, I think with the timeout, they definitely stopped some of the momentum that they had going their way. And as you know, I like momentum. But um, I definitely think they can catch up by the end of the quarter. All right, let's see what Heschel can do here. They go out the ball in Ricky Sutton's hands. Ricky Sutton, their leading scorer up to this point with the ball, and drives. He will not be denied as he misses the layup. Oh, right, the mid-ranger from Jesse Abed. A beautiful fadeaway from Jesse Abed. Here comes oh, a hard foul. It's a foul, and that will be a side out of bounds. He went down harder. I can't tell you. I was gonna say he went down harder than the, than the Titanic, but that sank pretty slowly. Almost a skill from Heschel, but they just can't corral it. What a block from Heschel. A beautiful dribble drill happening here from Heschel as they try to slow it down and maintain the lead that they already have with a beautiful pass and it goes off the and they just can't make their layups. They'd be up by so much more right now if they could just make the easy shots. Made a bunch of hard ones. That is a foul on a live. That looked clean, but I guess it's a foul. Two shots for Heschel. Two shots coming for Heschel. If they sink these, I think they're putting the quarter out of range. Right. Could make a 10 point game if they make the next one. Go, go. Oh. Seems that uh, Noah Lindenbaum was coming in for David Nass, who's at the line, so we can't come it's in. It's nice to see Noah Lindenbaum come in because we saw him exit earlier with a banged up leg. It's always nice to see someone injured come back into the game. Uh, Ill up ball. 
nine point game, a minute 24 to go in the third quarter. I said it once, I'll say it again. Whoever controls the third quarter, I think wins the game. Who has controlled the third quarter? At this point, certainly Heschel. Here comes Heschel down the court. The third quarter is such a, you know, it's such a pivotal moment in the game. Yeah, you see that a lot in the NBA with the Warriors. They'll just be, they'll be down, they'll just be, they'll kind of be in the game, and they'll just go insane in the third quarter and completely take control. Here comes Elad, he dribbles it off his foot, there's a fast break for Jesse Abad, and he makes the bucket. It's an 11-point game. Well, my prediction was certainly wrong for the end of the quarter. Maybe it'll be right for the end of the game. A beautiful spin move by a lot, but can't sink the end one basket. All right. Two shots coming up for a lot. And he misses the first. Here comes the second free throw. Bangs it home like the bullet that found Abraham Lincoln's head. As you guys can probably see, it's lunchtime like chat, so we got a lot of fans strolling in. But we're here providing you with color commentary. And Ricky Sutton, he's got the ball four, three. Speaking of color commentary, check out that man's shoes. All right. And that is the end of the third quarter, 34 to 24. The third quarter ends on a rebound off of a very awkward shooting form three. Wow, that quarter was crazy. Heschel won the quarter 20 to eight. We'll see you in the fourth. Okay, so we're back, and I think that one of the contributing factors to a lot sort of collapse in this game is that they did not come prepared for the weather. It's currently 18 degrees in a lot where they are coming from, and it, it is nighttime now. And it's nighttime, and here in the middle of the day, with the wind chill, feels like negative 33. So their bodies might not be used to what's going on outside, and that may be affecting their play. It may also be jet lag. They only arrived on Thursday, which is four days ago. So they may still be a little bit jet lagged. It, it's very possible that that can also be contributing to their lack of success in the last quarter. All right. Some confusion with the possession arrow, so we're going to have to stop the game for a couple seconds as a lot inbound. All right, here comes a lot. They really got to get moving if they want to win this game. That is not a good start as they miss the basket. Here comes Heschel down the court. And that's defensive. They come running. 
That's a foul. We got two shots. All right, and it didn't even take us a minute to get our first free throws in the fourth. We got two shots coming for Tal of Fear. And he air balls the first. Jake Borer is back into the game. He is in for Ricky Sutton. Now Ricky has been having an amazing game so far. Let's see if his replacement can have the same kind of efficiency. And this is the second one. A crazy high rebound. His head almost touched the basket there. It's like Zion Williamson. Don't get me started on Zion. That man's a freak of nature. Bounces it off his foot, and it goes out of bounds for another turnover. Well, we got seven minutes left to play. There's still been no score in the fourth quarter. Now that's and interesting. I feel like they've both kind of stepped up their defense as a lot realizes they need to play better defense to, to stop the flood of points that Heschel had been draining. And Heschel realizes they need to step up their defense to stop a lot from making a miraculous comeback. All right, time out, Heschel, and we'll be back in a minute. And we are back. Game review. Here comes Heschel and Alot back onto the court. We got six minutes and 43 seconds to go in the game with Heschel up 10 and half the ball. And the three misses, but they get the offensive rebound. Heschel driving, falling, turns it over. And here comes a lot. Let's see if they can get some momentum. Josh, you love momentum. I do, because momentum can shift the game. It can Out shift them. a lot ball. Momentum can shift an island. So why can't it shift the odds of this basketball game? It definitely can. There's a sub. We got Omri. Bennett show into the game for uh, Natanel Shapiro. He shares a first name with one of two Israeli players currently in the NBA. There's Omri Kaspi and TJ Leaf. TJ Leaf is American Israeli and acknowledges his Jewish heritage, although he doesn't identify himself as Jewish. Interesting. That is a shot clock violation. Or as we call it in the business, a turnover. We have to discussing that may have been a foul before the shot clock violation. Shot, never mind, it is a shot clock violation or a turnover. Now, the ref is talking to, uh, to the coach as he is confused about the call. Alright, let's call the ball. See what they can do with it. There's certainly a fire lit underneath the butts of both of these coaches 
as they have been screaming bloody murder at each other for the better half of this game. All right, we got two shots coming up for a lot. Could be the first points of the quarter and make it an eight-point game. Eight-point games are fun. As he misses the first. Now, as a very avid basketball fan that you are, would you rather see a very close game or a game that's a severe blowout? I'd always rather see a very close game. The closer a game is, the more you get to see the stars play, and the better competition you get, and the more fun and enticing these games are. All right, here comes Heschel. A lot made one free throw for the first points of the quarter. I get where you're coming from. But from, from the other perspective, a closer game can be all the more heartbreaking for the losing team. Then if they were blown out, they could say, okay, we got blown out by 60 points. But if they lose by two, it seems like, hey, we could have made one more basket and won this game. Yeah. Uh, there's, definitely, there's definitely good parts on each side. Which is why basketball is so compelling. All right, here's Heschel. Less than five minutes left in the game. Nine point lead for Heschel. I personally watch basketball for the squeaks the sneakers make. <laughs> oh, not the basket by Heschel. Oh, beautiful layup. Trying to put this game away. About to sub in for a lot is a man with a full beard. How he's playing in this tournament? I don't know. <laughs> This guy's balding. That is a foul on a lot. Off the Two glass. shots for Heschel. I definitely think that the thing that's turned this game is that a lot has had quite a few fouls. Not as many as Heschel, but they've come at way more inopportune times. Yeah, I think the biggest part of this game has been physicality. It really has seemed like Heschel has wanted it more. They, they've certainly made this game seem like a life or death situation and as I mentioned before with their coach as loud and aggressive as he is it may very well be one all right second shot coming for Heschel some interesting form there on the free throw as it gets called off did he just lose the free throw that may have been a free throw violation on Heschel Wow so a free throw violation cuts him off and he does not get his second shot. Three pointer. A beautiful three. Dang. Alright, it's a nine point game. Let's see if A Lot can ride that momentum to the finish line. That ball came out faster from his hand than it did from Patrick Mahomes yesterday as he was going down. A beautiful wow. shot from Patrick. My God. Silencing the crowd. Oh! They have been trading beautiful shots up to this point, and a lot is now only down by eight. And this is why I like close basketball games. All right, we'll be back in a second. All right, and we are back. Three minutes and 29 seconds to go in the game. Josh, what do you think is going to happen here? Um, I, I, I think a lot can definitely continue their torrent of threes that are just falling at will for them. I don't think they're going to be able to come back at this point. I think Heschel has more of a control over the game than the score really says. I happen to agree. 
Try to expand. Alright. Ricky Sutton is back into the game. And that basket is no good. That is a shot clock violation. A lot ball with 3 minutes and 11 seconds to go in the game. Comes a lot. They really need a basket here. And there they get it in. Get. Wow, it's a five-point game with three minutes to go. Their shooters are on fire at this moment. They're now only down by five after being down by how many in the third? They were down by something like 15. They've now cut Heschel's lead into a third of what it previously was. Some beautiful defense and the defensive rebound. What a beautiful series of events for a lot here. Any fans of the team, as you can hear, are losing their mind. Long three is no good. That is a foul. He made a heat check, and it did not pay off. He needs to be taking smarter threes in a game that's this close at this point. There's two minutes and 21 seconds left. And here come two free throws for Heschel. All right, no, this is this might be a one and one. I think they're picking over the best match on All right, some more free throws here for Heschel. And breaks it as a let gets the rebound. Let's see if they can continue their torrent of threes. There are certainly a lot of Heschel fans here, and it's kind of getting hard to hear myself think. <laughs> Great defense from Heschel. Let's see if they can stop the run. A lot with a hard, blatant foul there. We're probably going to get another one and one right here. shot. You can hear all the a lot fans. Oh, and and nice a -Lot, lot gets the rebound and turns it over immediately. a lot ball. a lot ball as his turnover sent the Heschel man flying out of bounds. This game is crazy. This is the marquee matchup of the tournament. Here comes a lot. Almost gets the N1 bucket, but it'll have to settle for two free throws. This game is going a bit long, but that's okay. We're getting paid by the hour. Here comes the first free throw. I got, I got, I got that. And he misses it. An unfortunate miss for a lot as they need to keep momentum on their side. And he misses the second one and a hard foul on the rebound. Is Heschel ball up five with 145 to go. Oh, we got another one and one. Another foul from a lot, and Heschel will enter the bonus. His odd shooting form there leads to another miss there as comes a lot wants another chance. That is a, no, a beautiful three that doesn't count. It was an it was a carry Heschel ball. A lot's coach is losing the match. Special subs in. Everyone is losing their minds. That that three was beautiful, and it was negated by a carry. Got a few Heschel fans here. 
Uh, it makes sense considering a lot more of their uh, staff and students would come to a game that's a lot closer than Israel. And misses the layup and gets the foul. Two shots coming up for Heschel. These shots could potentially put the game away. If they hit one of these, it puts them up by six. No different than if they were up by five. But hitting both of them will put them up by seven or three possessions, which I think will put the game away. Ricky Sutton, the best player for Hessel, is at the line. And he misses it. A lot is still in this. Time out a lot. We'll be back in a minute. And we and are back. back. With 122 left in the final quarter, a lot is now only down by six after storming back to a roaring comeback. However, Heschel is in the bonus, so if they want to start fouling, they're going to get two free throws on every attempt. Heschel is still in their huddle, and they're warned by the ref that a lot can bring the ball out at any time. A lot the gentlemen that they are refuse to and wait for her Heschel to get set, which may be their downfall. Oh, and on what seemed to be a missed traveling call, he gets the three off and still misses. By a lot. And he's we have a minute to go. A, lot. a minute to go. Six point deficit. Heschel in the bonus. Let's see what they do here. Wow, this game is intense. Seems like there's thousands of people here, although there's what? probably only uh, a few hundred. Block. Heschel controlling the clock here. They're waiting for the game to end and he loses the ball with three seconds left on the shot clock and it's a jump ball. They still have possession due to the possession arrow being in their favor. There is one second on the shot clock. Oh, it is a lut ball. We're sure about the arrow, we're sure. <laughs> All right, we got 46 seconds. Let's see if Aylott can come back. Our scoring table was just harassed by the Heschel bench because they messed up the possession arrow. They may, they may have messed up the possession arrow. Maybe, we don't know. Oh, beautiful! Three. And one! And one three from deep by Aylott to put this game within three and the chance to put it within two. Wow, what a play! The entire crowd just went nuts! Here comes the free throw. Oh, oh air ball! Free throw! In 21, he just lost all his points. Oh, a risky pass from Heschel! Oh, and he misses and he lost with the rebound! He lost with the rebound! As lunch ends, let's see if he can hit this three. Oh! And he ties it up! Makes the three and tie it up! Hash is trying to call a timeout! 15 seconds left, they are tied up in an insane insane! Oh my god! Justin, you 
see that coming. Yes. Wow. An incredible comeback from my life. Their shooters are on fire. What did I say at the beginning of this game? What did I say? It's going to come down to the three-point shooting that they couldn't find in the last game. We promised you guys a, a great game, and you, we deliver. We got 15 seconds to go. It is Heschel Ball. I think everyone in the gym at this point, even some of the students from Heschel, are rooting for a lot. <laughs> All right, here we go. All right. Heschel with the inbound. Let's see a lot of defensive prowess here. Ricky Sutton's got the ball. This might be the most exciting 80-point game ever. Oh, my God. Ricky Sutton hits the shot! Time out. Time out, A-line. Ricky Sutton, Heschel's MVP up to this point, hits the shot to put them up by two. a -Lot now has the ball. 3.9 seconds left, and they called a timeout to talk about their game plan. Wow, Ricky Sutton has been the MVP of that team. That's really small. Wow, this game is crazy. Oh, and that's in bars mom. Oh. All right, here we go. Five seconds to go. A lot has the ball. Down by two. Do they go for the two or a three here? Throws the ball play back. Stop that. Got the dudes on there. Does a lot here go for the two to tie it and maybe send it to overtime or for the three to attempt to win I the game? I think they go for the three. They've been shooting lights out in the fourth quarter. Oh, it is no good and Heschel wins 42 to 40. Josh, what a crazy game. I can't believe it ended like that. But unfortunately, we won't be going to overtime and we won't be saying a game winning three. But we'll, we'll be back at 4.30. You should have some new commentators on for the next game. Thank you.